They took away things that players normally found from older games and abuse. Crouch tech killed so many casual players because they're like, yo, I can't throw this guy. I don't know how to stop this crouch tech. What's up, everybody? This is Justin Wall, and we're back with an interesting video talking topics. You guys love it. And this time we are talking about the Twitter discourse, old game versus new games. Are new games easier? Are they the same level as old games? Who's better? Old players, new players. You know, I will give my thoughts because I have played old games and new games. I have been old players. I have beaten new players. I've lost a new players i've lost to old players you know i have been on both sides of the spectrum so if you guys want to see the action hit the like share subscribe turn on bell notification and let's get into the video so i want to have a conversation obviously if you guys have been on twitter pretty sure you have seen the discourse people that weren't even able to these guys before are now able to do okay or you know be on par or even win sometimes take like a mov like a high tani or someone and play those guys on street fighter 6 or street fighter 5 you might do all right you might even win you might even win play either of those on street fighter 3, three and, and you'll get cooked done it'll be 20 zero like three. people don't understand the difference in the actual levels of the guy it's not the guy good but you've improved and now you're on the level no the game has given you to him because the game is easier now and you can tell it's easier now by how many good players there are everyone's good now that says everything why isn't there a limited playing field to who gets good why does everyone get to get good because the game's easy strike you weren't seeing hordes of people get good because the game was mad hard I they feel like a lot of people are um you know taking uh the words to heart but yo let's uh let's give a big shout out to chris t for his talking with t podcast series so if you guys haven't checked this out you know check check his channel out give him subscribe and everything so what i want to you know kind of like talk about a lot of people are complaining old versus new and i mean that's gonna be a conversation that people are going to have 10 years from now 20 years from now and ultimately in anything competitive i do agree that that games are easier now I feel like you know it's really hard to say no it's not at least in my opinion like 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 the games are easier to learn it's easier for people to understand how to play fighting games because there's a lot of tools there's, there's a lot of hand holding and that's that's okay i feel like that's that's something that helps accessibility like if you think about the in-game stuff there is tutorials trial modes you know it really explains how to play the game when you think about old games old games don't really do that like i think the only time you see that in old games is SNK games and they tell you like this is what light punch does heavy punch does and mechanics and everything but they're not really telling you how to play the game how to understand your character so in terms of that that's obviously lacking from back in the day and has been improved on as time goes on I think we can uh, all agree on that in terms of obviously social media everybody is able to connect with each other from worldwide to talk about oh this is what I found this is what you found and let me share it and and everything like that it's a lot of sharing involved now when it comes to modern fighting games and obviously older fighting games did not have that we had our arcades and we had shoryuken.com and obviously not every shoryuken.com is no it's not no twitter not no youtube none of that right if you know what shoryuken.com is then you know what shoryuken.com is but when you think about social media now a lot of people have gotten better in older games right i would say it's obviously not as much compared to the modern like the official modern fighting games like street fighter 6 Tekken 8 uh but people have gotten better like obviously with the help of fight cade you know there's more third strike players playing third strike more than ever right so i think that's really really awesome going back to fighting games are easier now yeah i would say it really is and i'll give you some prime examples they took away things that players normally found from older games and abuse for example crouch tech crouch tech is so strong so strong in older fighting games as a defensive tools that the average person would not know how to deal how to stop it that i mean this is i feel like blatantly true when you think about street fighter 3 third strike when you think about street fighter 4 bro crouch tech killed so many casual players because they're like yo i can't throw this guy i don't know how to stop this crouch tech and right and there's option selects remember how backdash was in bolt has invincibility frames on on wake up pro players abuse option selects the average player did not know how to option select even there was youtube guides or anything just the concept of option select is pretty difficult and these are not like mechanics in the game made by the developers these are found by players like glitch tech os's and now when people make fighting games they gonna they're gonna make sure that if something is found 
they're gonna patch it out. It's gonna pat. It's gonna be patched out because they're trying to make sure that it's a true strike throw paper scissors type of game. Now another prime example of a glitch tech found was patched out was Street Fighter Five. Street Fighter Five had jump back tech in season one. I don't know if you guys remember. Everyone from Asia was abusing it. All the top players were abusing it. But guess who wasn't abusing it? The casual player, the average player, the ones that you know make it to the loser to winners finals or loser finals of their pools but can't clutch it out. They were not using it however once they took out jump back tech obviously it became more of an rps and more people were able to get opened up properly and then i feel like anytime they have some type of new tech that's being found it's just going to be patched out i think that's just that's just how it's going to be and you know it, it obviously lowers the skill level the skill gap in my opinion the skill level like in terms of the gap of a top player versus an average player but i think that's okay because they want people to not feel like bad about themselves because i think when you think about fighting games if you suck at a fighting game you feel like sh I mean, CVS2 console version after PS2 and Dreamcast, where they removed Roll Cancel, and nobody wanted, nobody played that version. Maybe casual players did, but for people that like, hey, I want to go to the CVS2 tournament, they're not playing that version. Everyone's still playing on PS2 and Dreamcast, right? I think that's what it comes down to is that people just eventually got used to these glitch texts, these option selects. But I feel like if we had Twitter back in the day, I feel like people would have been hand. People would have went hand. Yo, Roll Cancel so stupid. Roll cancel needs to be taken out. Roll cancel needs to be fixed ASAP. Blah, 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 blah. It definitely would happen. I think that I disagree from Reinhardt is saying like the way, I guess the way it was worded that older players were just like so OD and godlike. I guess based off the, the concept of the of this part of the video, right? And like MOV, like you wouldn't be able to touch MOV. The problem is now is like, you can't really prove that anymore. MOV, it was amazing at Third Strike. Definitely, it was, he was, it was him or Kuroda as like the GOAT of Third Strike, like top one or a top two, right? He won SBO with his arm broken and he cooked everybody still with Third Strike with Chung Lee. Um, obviously you've seen MOV play Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 6, and his, ro his results are, they're pretty lackluster. They're pretty lackluster. And then, you know, he wanted to become pro in those games, but like what's really preventing him from being on that level? And in my personal opinion, the reason why he couldn't get to that same level that he did was a third strike was because there were so many interesting defensive mechanics that third strike had that you know he was abusing chung lee had an option select where she get either standing heavy kick or parry or throw you understand that there was a three-way option select literally that was is not in any of the modern games that we're playing now with street fighter 4 street fighter 5 or street fighter 6 but it also could be the case as like you know this game's not your your cup of tea just because you're a top player in one game doesn't mean you're going to be a top player in a another game it's not going to translate easily but you have to work work on it so i think uh in terms of like old versus new i do think that if the old games were out now no patches i mean it would there would be patches but if there was no patches the respect the game how it is when it comes out and everything like that we would definitely have more top players i agree that there will be more top players i think a prime example is uh smug smug is actually a brand new player when it comes to retro games right third strike in particular he got a rank in third strike on fight cave i think that's pretty impressive for someone that didn't really know how to play third strike whatsoever so i think he's a prime case scenario that you can use as like yo like third strike's mad hard you know right third strike's mad hard a lot of these players can't get good in third strike well well smug did right but that's also to help with that streaming youtube you know all these replays you have access to all this information so it's easier to get better back in the day so hard to get better like if you're not at a big arcade with like great players it's really hard to get better you're just you're just gonna suck at it or just you're just gonna be limited to like kind of where your level is right you need to really have opportunities to play with people better people to get better at fighting games back in the day and you know there was no online really and anything like that so i think that's fair to say that's why people were bad in fighting games back in the day they were really bad like i mean i would go to tournaments and i would just feel like yeah i won because there's it's really hard for somebody to be better than my arcade I, my arcade has the best players on a friday night in our in my arcade chinatown fair it felt like a major so when i go to majors in random states like i don't know like north carolina or whatever and it's not really like chinatown fair it felt like oh okay i don't have to worry about x and y and z player these sweaty players in the arcade and everything like that i think that's a fair pretty assessment 
investment, right? So it's uh, it's actually quite interesting, this conversation. I don't even know why people got so upset. Yeah, I guess, like, I don't know about NRS community, but when it comes to Street Fighter and Tekken, like, I mean, people share information all the time. I mean, there was a lot of people complaining about, yo, games are not easier now. It's just people are better. People are better, for sure. But games are easier now. I'm sorry. I, like, I cannot agree that people really think games are the same level as difficulty from now than before you know the controls are easier in this game like if you try to play leverless in an older game you're gonna have such a hard time because the input leniency you know every the strict inputs like that was not there that was just not there so it's just really it's just really tough we actually just made a video watching this hyper fighting tournament and hyper fighting tournament there was like that 16 year old blanca kid and he got second place in the tournament i thought that was really cool that was really sick so like there's there's examples of just younger players playing older games and just killing it it's always gonna be a tough conversation no matter what but yeah easier yeah if if a, if a game is easier like in terms of execution and everything like that that doesn't mean it's easier to win it's easier to pick up because at the ultimately at the end being the best player in a game that is considered easier than an old game it's going to be harder because there, you have more of a player base me let's say for example me winning third strike at evo would not mean as much as me winning street fighter 6 at evo and let's just take out prize money out the way or everything like that it's just the amount of entries you know street fighter 6 probably will get like this what three to four thousand entries at evo third strike is like probably less than a thousand it really doesn't hold the same weight because there's less matches less Less top players, less threats. I'm just gonna keep it a stack, keep it real with you guys. This is what it comes down to. Winning Evo back in the day is obviously a lot easier because there's less of a yeah i would say there's less stress there's less fatigue because there's less matches to be played and you know a person that can play that played games in both eras of old and new it's definitely there's pros and cons on both sides i would say the one thing i don't like i would say about modern fighting games is when i watch people play or talk to people i can't tell if they are in love with fighting games or not if you play old fighting games now you love it you really love it like there's passion because because the reward of you winning in old fighting games is something that you personally want because you're not making billions of dollars on this no way but when i talk to people and they complain about street fighter 5 Fighter 6 and they're like yo i hate this game and i ask why do you play it and they're like because of the money right and i'm like all right you know that's just a very superficial answer but i guess that's the, the thing like if older fighting games had the money would these players still be interested in playing it that like i'm not too sure about because it's obviously a hypothetical situation but yeah it's just it's an interesting conversation i like chris t's like talking like that talking to you it's just really good and i did talk to ride heart like at um tns he just randomly was there and, you know and we were just shooting it we didn't do an interview because like i didn't know he was gonna be there but yeah i mean he did mention the whole he actually did mention mov again the kind of the same similar thing like a lot of people would, would be would get battered if they played older games because i think in his perspective he thinks the new fighting game players are cocky and i guess the way he worded it he didn't say cocky but it was more like they think they, they could just run over what old fighting game players established and clearly that's just that would never happen like you would have to be really petty if you were a top newer fighting game player and like and you got like like a big bird angry bird punk and you just feel like you know what i just want to prove a point that would be actually kind of ridiculous though but one thing that has been proven and i mentioned this previous times is that obviously the newer fighting game players are better in modern fighting games than older fighting game players but older fighting game players has beaten newer fighting game players in newer fighting game it obviously has not happened the other way around because there's no reason for newer fighting game players to to you know to play so i mean like tokido has been punk punk has been tokido if you're talking about tokido playing st or dirt strike or cvs2 you know all the older games punk obviously has never played those games so he, so you can't say punk's gonna be able to beat tokido in those three games because he doesn't really play those games right the best assessment to say is that like older fighting game players can still hang with the top m newer fighting game players in modern fighting game so i think that's a proven fact but there's also lots of other facts that has been proven. I know Brutus brought up something pretty similar. How about like Smash Melee? Smash Melee, people always talked about the gods. Mango, Mewtwo King, Hungry Box. And I mean, now there's new gods, right? There are new gods like uh, Zane, Cody. So, I mean, they've been cooking. How do I know these names? Because I, I just follow everything. I like no, I like having the knowledge, right? Overall, I mean, people have gotten better in fighting games, but ultimately, and you just have to just, just respect
respect the old, respect the new, play the games, who cares? Scene is growing. It's great to be happy. The only, the only reason why I think like this conversation comes up is because there's just more opportunity in newer fighting games and maybe the old guard is just jealous that they didn't get a piece of the pie or anything like that because they, we were winning like 300 bucks, 400 bucks for winning a major while people are winning like thousands at, at, like, at like majors and regionals. Online tournaments, you can win like 700 bucks and everything like that. Maybe people are jealous. Who, who knows? But I mean, that's why you make YouTube content like me and talk about this to make money right who cares but yeah hope you guys enjoyed that this is obviously going to be a youtube video for it but make sure you guys hit the like share subscribe you guys know what to do and we'll see you in the next one